Hey guys, welcome back. And for today's video, we're going to discuss on how to do a remote viewing in QEMU. So let's start. There's so many ways how to connect with QEMU. And on top to that, one of the popular connectivity you can choose from is the SSH. Now, in some other instances, just like remote desktop, all Linux distro has its own. One of the most popular is the BNC. And for this demo, we're going to install this application and for us to be able to access that in our host. So let's start. To start with, let us open our terminal. From here, let us update our system by typing sudo apt update. Enter your password. Next, we need to set up the desktop environment. Type sudo apt install x at c e four space x at c e four hyphen goodies. Then hit enter. Select yes. If you see this screenshot, just press enter. Select the default by press enter. Next, let us install now the Thai PNC server. Next, to maintain the connection, we need to install now the, the bus. Next, to complete the connection, we need to use the BNC server command to set up a secure password and create the initial configuration files. And to do that, let us type BNC server. Enter your password or any password that will require for this to access. For this demo, I just enter one, two, three, four, five.
Okay, it seems it's too short, so let us try again. Let's extend this up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. At this point here, it would ask to enter a view-only password. Just select no or n. And there you go. There might be a difference between our view. I think this is because my Debian already in known view. Well, if you recall a while ago, when we installed the desktop, we installed also the known for this one. So right now, this is already taking over as Debian 2. All right. Next, let us configure now our BNC server. And to do that, we need to stop first our BNC by typing the following. BNC server hyphen kill and the view. A while ago, we mentioned that this Debian already taken on the screen too. But just try to check if your view is on the Debian one, you can select this one. But since I'm already in Debian 2, I can select the Debian 2 here. And there you go. At this point here, our BNC server is already stopped. Next, we need to back up our startup by typing the following. All right, then hit enter. Next, at this point here, we can now touch the X startup by typing nano space and then hit enter. In this setup, copy the path or anything from this text here. Make sure you post this video and copy each line. And once done, just press Control X, then press Y, then hit Enter. Now to double check the content, you can go back by typing back again the nano, this line here, then press enter. Make sure all this line is typing correctly. And once you're satisfied, then just press control X. Next, to ensure that the BNC server will be able to use the new startup file properly, you need to make it executable. And to do that, let's clear this up and type sudo chmode plus x dot bnc slash x startup. Enter your password. Then type BNC server. Next, let us examine back before testing our BNC. 
from here, let us take note this section here. Okay. When I set up this Debian, I think this is during the installation when I set up the host name. So since we set up to port 2, so this will be my port to be used outside this guest Linux or guest Debian. So it, it could be different from your view. Mostly you will get the port 1. So make sure you take note this line because later on we're going to use this this port, especially this port here, to connect to this guest OS. Next, at this point here, our BNC is now ready. This time, we need to head back to our host and try to connect to our BNC. So let's proceed. Since we're working in QEMU guest OS, at this point here, we need to turn this off and modify the code to be able to access the BNC inside this server. So let's proceed. Before we proceed with BNC, let us examine first our code. This line here is our original code line. You can see this under description below. And this line here is the additional line. Here we need to call the BNC and then we need to access the host name of the guest. Uh, for this section, you can simply type the local host. And the port, a while ago I mentioned about the port since it was assigned to port 2 in my Debian. So it could be different on your case. So make sure you take note your port before applying this line here. All right, so let's proceed. At this point here, this is my main root of our guest. It could be different on your part. So make sure you are within the folder of the guest that you created earlier. Now, if you are in this section, I want to make a executable files to apply our QEMU code. Instead of doing the traditional the PowerShell, I'm going to make a batch file that will auto-execute our code line. So let's begin. To begin with, let us copy our path. Click on this address. Right click. Copy. Then from here, open a command prompt. Search on your desktop. Then on this section here, head over to the directory. On my case, I am saving that on drive E. Then from here, we need to go to the folder location by typing CD, double quotation, the folder pad, and another double quotation. Then press enter. It could be different on your case, but make sure you are on the right folder location. So that's it. Next, once you're done in this section, let us create now the batch file. To create a batch file, we can do that in many ways, but for this demo, I'll be using the terminal to create the batch file. So from here, just type type null space greater than space and the name of the batch file. So let's say I'm going to name this as start that bat. Enter, and there you go. Next, we need to head over to our root folder, and we need to modify now the batch file. So let's proceed. From our root folder, locate the batch file, and then 
right click to that then select edit so this will open to notepad from our notepad let us type the following at echo op enter start space from the description below copy that code line then paste here press enter then type exit next before we close our notepad let us apply now the bnc code head over to this line then move towards the end click at the last section space then paste the bnc line so this is from our discussion then head to the file then click save or simply control s once done click close and there you go next once done let us now start our file from here you can simply double click or right click then open at this point here it will only shows a black screen but behind this screen the system is already start working so you need to wait a little more for this to fully load next as part of the requirements we need to download the bnc viewer from this url then if you are in this section since i'm using windows i'll be download this section here once done you need to install that on your system then let's do the bnc connectivity so let's start once done with the installation open your bnc viewer and head to this section here from here we need to type the connectivity by typing localhost colon and the port since we're using two i need to type here two then press enter at this point here it will show you the encryption message just click continue and there you go let's log in All right, at this point here, our BNC is fully working. From this section here, you can modify or explore using your BNC remote viewing. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and click the like button and subscribe for any videos just like this. Cheers!